hello guys welcome back to another video today we want to see the inert gear system and if you are from uh, any other ships other than this oil tanker then you might be wondering why do we need inert gears and what's its purpose okay let's get into the video in the inert gears there are mainly four parts and before that let me tell you where we'll apply this inert gears okay now consider this is our tank cargo tank and we have filled our high speed diesel here and it's producing vapors okay so here there will be air and oxygen so what we can do is we will remove this oxygen and fill up with some other inert gas which is having uh, oxygen content less than five percentage or simply we will just remove oxygen from this atmosphere and that's a one uh, in our uh, fire triangle oxygen is a one part that we can remove in order to avoid any explosion okay now coming back to our diagram uh, you can see if you are a beginner then you can ignore this for a moment and you can see inert gas supply this goes to the tank for uh, filling inert gas and now you can have a look at this there are mainly four parts in an inert gas system and there is there are two things one is inert gas system and then inert gas generator and here it is shown inert gas system here we have okay well, let's start from here okay from boiler uptake that means uh, we will collect flue gases from boiler which will be hot and dirty and it will be passed through this scrubber tower this tower it's not a tank it's a tower it's uh, three to four meters long and here you can see we are supplying seawater from here and here the gases and seawater mixes it's not mixing it uh, goes together and the temperature of this boiler flue gas reduces and if there is any impurities in the flue gas this seawater dissolves it see what the seawater does it's uh, it removes the heat and it cleans the flue gases so it goes through these meshes you can see here uh, there are meshes provided here this is for uh, when the flue gas uh, goes through this tortuous path it gets uh, more cleaned and now it comes the blower there are two blowers one is standby and uh, it has got 2.5 times the overall capacity of the cargo tank discharge system okay the blower sucks this gas and puts into this deck water seal and here also you have to note one more thing that uh, there is a automatic valve arrangement system here given um, which is uh, which basically is uh, if the oxygen content goes above eight percentage then this valve opens and it is not this valve there will be a three-way valve or uh, some arrangement and it will be given to the the atmosphere and if it is below eight percentage then it closes and it goes to the deck seal it's commonly called as deck seal and now you have to note here note that uh, here there is a line provided this dotted line this indicates that this up to this section it is our uh, engine room our uh, living space not living space i mean this 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 part is the deck space okay so this is a, this is a boundary uh, they are showing they are clearly showing the boundary and after that okay now you know that those things now the gases come into the deck seal and it's it's basically kind of non return kind of thing and it goes to the tank it means uh, this deck seal is mainly given so that any gases which originates from this tank will not go back to our engine room system engine room areas that's why the deck seal arrangement is given and we will cover our uh, deck seal and this PV breaker in another video okay then there is one more thing here uh, you can see the drain is given okay so the water collected will be given outside for the inert gas uh, generator we are not uh, using this boiler exhaust gas instead uh, we have a separate diesel burner and the diesel burner the gases are collected uh, by this blower and then it is led to this scrubber tower 
and then it goes through this arrangement bend and the deck seal arrangement then it goes to PV breaker and then I have I got an extra point uh, which says uh, as you can see here this is inert gas system in this this water is uh, given overboard directly and in case of uh, inert gas generator unit where uh, we are firing diesel and burning we are firing diesel and making exhaust gas in that system in case of flame failure the water is transferred to the bilge holding tank I think it's because uh, if there is a flame failure then the oil or the diesel may be dripping uh, the diesel should not go to overboard I think that's the reason and these are the basic things that you should know about the inert gas system okay guys uh, thank you and have a nice day see you in another video